Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a different kind of review. Let me just screen share so that Crimson's here as well. He had Animal Crossing, and that's what we're going to bring up, because today we're going to review Tamadachi Life. Why are you on your desktop, your horribly cluttered desktop, which you need to fix because Terraria is done and that needs to be like put in its correct fire. Well, we're going to review Tamadachi Life and it's going to record, require some like mouse movement. Clicky here, watch this. Clicky there, watch that. Shenanigans. Tamadachi Life then, let's just jump into it. And before we jump into it, so Icy Blade doesn't get on my ass. I've not played it, but I've seen gameplay. That, hold on, Icy Blade. Before you, before you go jump in your shit again, say that's what you did with Stick of Destiny. No, hold on a minute. Stick of Destiny? Stick of Truth, whatever. That is what I did with the Stick of Destiny, but here we have justified reason. Which is Tamadachi Life is absolute shit, and I am not going to pay for that. So, whoops, that gives my statement of Tamadachi Life away instantly. And I, the reason I say this is because of several things. The price point, what you do in the game, compared to its competitors. So, Tamadachi Life, if, can you see my screen by the way, Crimson? Yes, I can. Good, because this guy had Animal Crossing, so he can like make the comparison. So, obviously, across the past month, Nintendo Directs, all this other crap, they have been pushing the shit out of Tamadachi nah, nah. Life. Saying, this is a life simulator, and you will make all of your characters like Mr. Iwata there, and you will simulate life by going and having a bath and everything else. Get out of here, new ca newscaster man, we need to go back to the, the Tamadachi life. So yeah, you will be able to interact with your friends, and it's a full-on life simulator where you can do anything you imagine. But, let's back up there, because it's not anything you can imagine, because for a start-off, it's only what Nintendo programmed. All of the things that you can do are what the developers thought of. And even then, if you find a bug, that shit's going to get edited out. Because obviously one of the big things that got brought up by reviewers that actually have a review copy and get this like two or three weeks before the game is released officially to the public, flip their shit over this, which was, you can't have same-sex marriage. Obviously, like, a boy can't marry a boy, a girl can't marry a girl. Then there was a strange bug or glitch which did allow you to do so. Nintendo saw that, they patched that shit out straight away. All the reviewers said, that is a stupid, stupid idea. You should just not do that because everybody's going to be pissed off. And they were like, oh, well, we'll patch it out in the next Tamodachi game. Yeah, that's that's really fucking bold because you're probably not going to get a next game because this game is absolute arse. Because for a start, a life simulator, as I said, where there is a lot of restrictions is the first problem. The second problem, all of the strange nebbish fantasies that happen, like this one that's going on right now with Regin being a, a referee and fighting a cheeseburger, all these nebulous quirky fantasies are from a set pool of quirky situations. So it's like, oh hey look, there's giant faces, and let me see if I can reel through this to show that exact situation. But it's like, oh hey look, there's giant faces, right there you go. There's the clip right there. There's giant faces rising out of the water. Isn't that a quirky out there moment? And it's like, well yes it is. And now here is another standing on the pier, giant faces rising out of the water, quirky moment, because it only pull, it only pulls from about a pool of 50 quirky moments, maybe a hundred quirky moments, and after that, the pool is empty, you've seen all the quirky moments, and your life simulator kind of falls apart, but the biggest problem is this, you are yourself, you are a random stranger that shows up on an island, and the island is kind of falling to shit, and you're now the owner of the island. And eventually, when you do the island up, people move on to the island. And then you do mundane quests, which are the same thing every single day to make sure everybody's happy. Does that sound familiar? Hmm, yes it does. It sounds like Animal Crossing. And to be fair, Animal Crossing New Leaf came out on the 3DS. And from everybody that's played it, like Crimson here, they loved it. And they were addicted to it. And it was like heroin. 
And why? Because it was colourful, it was cute, it was charming, it was a, it was it was more addicting than it should have been, but it had a sense of its own personality. Whereas Tamadachi Life, please stop asking me to change the basic colour because I've got Gary's mod running. But uh, Tamadachi Life doesn't have its own personality. It tries to be so quirky and random, uh, it just kind of becomes completely bland. Which moves us on to the next thing. What time are we on? Because I only want this to go on for about 10 minutes. We're at 5 minutes, so I can run this for another 5. Which brings us on to the second point about Tamadachi Life. If you own a 3DS, go buy Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm not a fan of Animal Crossing New Leaf. I know that shit's like heroin, and if you play it, it's very hard to break the chain. You need to go to rehab for four months and say drugs are bad, New Leaf is bad, and I need to I need to play it only once a week so that I don't start taking shots in my arm again. Because, you know, it did, that's what it did to Crimson. Uh, but yeah, if if you got a 3DS, buy Animal Crossing New Leaf, because this is just the poor man's version of Animal Crossing New Leaf. If you have both a 3DS and a gaming PC, or even just a shit PC, because it's not the best graphics in the world unless you get all of the add-ons, get Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod is £5.99, £6, compared to Tamadachi Life is £35. So, if we said it was £5, you know, we'll just round it down by a pound for a minute, that's a whole £30 cheaper. So right now we're looking at a whole £29 cheaper for Gary's Mod. And in Gary's Mod, it is you can make your own fantasies. I've got it running for two seconds. So you can build whatever the hell terrain you want. This is obviously just a pre-rendered terrain. I haven't built anything in here. And obviously, if I press Q, we have access to the level editor. We can spawn in whatever we want, like down there. Um, we can pick it up. We can pick up this chest of drawers. We can make it float in the air. And then we can start attaching stuff to it. You know, we could get Q out. We can get a barrel spawned. We can grab the barrel. And we can put the barrel on the, on the chest of drawers, like an art piece. There you go. It's like modern... Right there. It's like modern art. So if we take this and bring it up a bit, there you go, modern art, perfect. So you can create anything, and obviously I've only just bought Gary's Mod, I don't know how to use it properly, but we're going to look at some examples right now, where if you use Gary's Mod, all your fantasies can become reality. And with Nintendo, you can only pull from a pool of Nintendo's licensing. So if you wanted to make your fantasies, they have to be fantasies within Nintendo. So you can only pull, pull from like Mario, Metroid, Donkey Kong. You can only pull from Nintendo's pool. Whereas something like uh, this, hit, for example, you can pull from the entire internet. Gary's mod is attached to the internet. So you can pull from anything in creation. And once you know how to use Gary's mod and you add a few things like SMM, which is like the swift movements feature. This is the swift movements feature here. So you can make your fantasy, which what is the inverted shadow has done. Because as you can tell by the character models, they are not the proper ponies because they don't wear hats from Team Fortress 2. So he is making his own story. This is what his little fan fiction is. And using Gary's mod, he's imported the models. He's used the swift motions feature to give them exact movement, like exact eye movement. And if we just go back, let me just let this change a minute. There you go. He's using exact eye movement. It's all perfectly lip synced. And uh, all the models move as if they're alive. Unlike in Tamadachi Life where sometimes they're a bit janky because it's a DS game. Whereas this is a PC game so you can pull a lot more resources. And I mean I've got to bring this up because holy shit this was the thing that really just perplexed me the most. All of his voices on these, on these little episodes he does are... Full voices, but on the 3DS, it's all from an IntelliVoice voice synthesize module. I don't know if that's for retroness, but like all of the voices, if you go watch any Tamadachi Life video, it's from an IntelliVoice voice synthesizer, and it's like, Hello, my name is Regin, and we use an IntelliVoice voice synthesizer. Now go play B17 Bomber. <laughs> so... Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, you can make anything in, in Gary's mod for cheaper. 
So it's more worth picking up Gary's mod for the fact that it's cheaper, you can make any of your dreams come true, there are no restrictions like same-sex marriage, if you want to do that, go ahead, and it takes a while, but when you think about it, you're learning how to program characters. It's game design at its most basic level. Looking at this one by McCrowsey, it's not as good as Inverse Shadow because she hasn't got all of the crazy mods like he has. But as you can see, I was in that city moments ago. There she is pulling from a pool of um, Nintendo, for example. So there's Nintendo's Tamodachi Life out the window because there, there we are pulling from Nintendo's pool of Pokemon. And she's making her own fantasy, which is, as you can see popping up here, is Legendary Time, which is just about the three um, Hoenn legendaries, I believe that Ruby Sapphire was Hoenn, but it's just the three Hoenn legendaries living together in an apartment. This is not the apartment, let's just spin on for a second here. Uh, da, 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 where are they? They're in the apartment somewhere, but I can't find it right now. There you go, Groudon was getting into the truck, but whatever, you know what I mean, it's just... The three legendaries, like there's Groudon and Rayquaza, living together in an apartment, chilling out, having a good time, and that's her fantasy, and obviously she's got the villain, this is her villain in her little fanfic. So she is pulling from the full pool of the internet to make her own fantasy come to life, and she did it on the cheap, which was £5, or, well, I think that equates to, like, $10, rather than the $40 you're going to pay for Tamodachi Life. So if you have a, if you have a DS... Buy Animal Crossing if you have a DS and a PC. Buy Animal Crossing for the DS if you like. But buy Gary's Mod for the PC because it's going to have so many bene It's going to have so many positives on you. I.e., it's cheaper. You can make any fantasy you like with no restrictions, and you're learning how to program characters. Like as I say, this is at a basic level, but. Um, Moving this character, that takes a while, because I've obviously got Gary's mod. Him scrubbing himself there, that is a character doing things, and you have to program that. The moving of the eyes, you have to program that, and it all comes up, although I didn't bring it up on Gary's mod, it all comes up in this little taskbar, so you have to put Rayquaza Ray's arm, paper in hand, paper set fire, or like that. It's You have to put in a series of commands that says, Dr. Jellyfish there, pick up... Pick up fish, fish waggle, and it all comes in this little, you know, console command stream of things. In fact, here's that Rayquaza pick up burn fire thing. So there you go. She's had to program that to pick up the piece of paper, and in a minute, there you go, it catches fire. So all that was programmed in. So you are learning game design at its most basic level, which if you're a younger viewer and you want to become a game designer, Gary's Mod is a great starting place. So... That's that's my review. Final verdict of Tamadachi Life. It seems pointless for it exists. It seems pointless to exist. Like if you want to have a life simulator thing where you go and do the same task every single day and interact with people, buy Animal Crossing because it works a whole lot better and it's got a lot more charm and appeal. If you want to have your own fan fictions come to life in 3D, buy Gary's mod. It's cheaper and there's no restrictions. And the, w the one other thing, just before we end, the fucking sprites. I'm sorry, Nintendo, you got to get rid of these fucking balloon-headed avatars. Because the island that Tamodachi Life is based upon is more like this. It's more like a Team Fortress 2 map. And these balloon-headed avatars running around the Team Fortress 2 map doesn't work. It kind of works for Inverted Shadow, but that's because he's got all of the swifter movement features to allow, like, blinking of eyes and full, like, motion like that. Whereas, as I said, the Mies don't really have this motion. So if we spin to the end here, spin to the end, all of these, all of these um, Team Fortress 2 guys, like that guy moving his arm, looks like it would fit better on Tamadachi Island rather than the balloon-headed Mies. I'm, they gotta go, Nintendo. Get the fucking Xbox One avatars if you have to. That's like the lowest bottom of the barrel I, I can scrape. Get the Team Fortress 2 guys, get Xbox One avatars, get something that looks better than those balloon-headed avatars, because, by God, they are obsolete, they look creepy, and they just don't work. That's why Animal Crossing is better, because they have more uh, cuteness. The dog looks cuter than whatever the fuck that guy is. Look at that guy! That's a fucking face of nightmares right there, just in the top right. 
He's staring into your soul like, ah, I'm running towards you. I'm gonna fucking rape you. They, they gotta go. They've got, you gotta get some better models for the Nintendo 4DS. You gotta get better models. It's gotta go. So that's my review of Tamodachi Life. One out of five. It's pointless that it exists. Buy Animal Crossing New Leaf if you're casual. If you want to learn how to be a game developer, buy Gary's mod as a starting point. It's cheaper. Do you want to add anything to this, Crimson, before we end? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say one thing. Uh huh. Dear Nintendo. But me's are bad. That is all. Wow, fucking riveting. Right then, so thank you all for watching this video. This is going to be up on the this is going to be up today, which is the sixth of June, along with an Isaac video that I recorded where we had to we had to fucking do a runner's blue baby. No, but we're not going to ignore that. And another part of Terraria, which is open right now. There it is. I've just got to edit it together, and that will be saved and uploaded tonight, along with these. So thank you all for watching this video. If you're enjoying the review. You, or if you enjoyed the review feel free to leave a like and if you're liking all my content feel free to subscribe and I will see all of you tomorrow because this will be the last thing going up so it's going to take a little bit longer to edit so see all of you tomorrow